Earlier on, you learned how PowerShell uses PS drives to adapt different forms of storage into PowerShell and make all those forms of storage look like a disk drive. Well, one of those forms of storage is PowerShell's own storage for variables, and it's the variable drive. So I can either get a directory directly or just CD variable and then ask for a directory. And what you're seeing here are mostly built-in variables. There's a few here, like A, that I've created myself, but a lot of these are built-in variables. Uh, and most of the built-in variables contain PowerShell configuration information, although some, like the error variable, contains the most recent error that occurred in the shell. You can see I've got a home variable that shows my home directory path. Uh, I've got a maximum error count, which is the maximum number of errors that it'll retain maximum alias count, which is the maximum number of aliases I can define in the shell. Uh, things like oh, PS use UI culture. Uh, mine is set to US English, for example. So a lot of these are just configuration settings in the shell. But they're all there. You don't have to access these through the variable drive. You can access them just as normal variables. So PS UI, what that was, PI US culture. There it is. So you can get to all those just like normal variables, although they are stored in the variable drive.